guys, Todd here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Nuzlocke randomizer for your Pokemon games. So uh, my friend came over the other day and he showed me this and I thought this was really cool. And uh, I know a lot of people have questions about how to do this. So I figured I'd end those and show you guys how to do it. So here we go. So first, I have a couple links that you guys need. So first is the, uh, the link for the actual program itself. I'm on a Mac right now, so I download the Mac version, but if you have Windows, download the Windows version, obviously. Um, so you can just go ahead, go to their downloads, and then you can hit download. I'll have all the links in the description. But uh, so here, executable jar, and then you can just unzip it. So I have it right here, and it's just a jar file. It's not like a regular file that I was used to, but so you can open that up. You have to do the right click trick for Mac. If you guys didn't know, uh, unidentified developers, you need to right click them and then hit open. Okay, so this opened right here. And then you're going to need another program called uh, Desmume or whatever it is. I don't even know what the hell it is. But uh, this is just a Nintendo DS emulator. I'm going to use this emulator because I'm going to be modifying my Pokemon Diamond version. For the DS, so you can go ahead and download this. Uh, find the download page, there it is. And once again, I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna download that. And these are pretty straightforward. I'm sure you guys have done something like this before with the DMG file. Gotta do the right click trick again. There we go. Alright, so I got my emulator loaded up too. We don't need that right now. So then the third thing you're gonna need is the ROM file itself. I can't actually show you where to get the ROM files, but hint hint, do a Google search, you'll find it. So let's go to my desktop. I actually have diamond version loaded up here. And now once you're in here, you can actually just change all the values you want. So go down here, look for the list of different things you can have in-game. I'm not a big Pokemon guy, but I know a couple things about it. So I know the one thing that people like to change is the starting Pokemon. So you can completely randomize that, which is pretty cool. Um, all kinds of stuff in here. So you can change your, your stuff in here. And then just do a few to show and then once you're done you can hit randomize which will save it and then you save it as your new file so I'll just save it as new Pokemon diamond and then I will save that to my desktop folder cool you don't have to do this um, this is just saying it wants to save a log file you don't need that and if you guys wanted to copy my settings as well, you can use this link. You don't copy these. <laughs> so we can close out of that. Okay. And now you're going to open up the emulator that you just downloaded. And you're going to navigate to that ROM file that we just saved. So you get the desktop. And new Pokemon Diamond. And there we go. Nice and simple. So, once you got that all done, you guys are done. So, that's it. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.